So we've cut out our square. Our outside edges should be nice and straight. All right now, everybody has a blank piece of computer or of construction paper. All right. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to flip this to where um, everything's going to fit on this paper. So all of these pieces on the right and left, like the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, all of this is going to flip to the outside. And I know we have plenty of room here. And the way that I always determine if I have enough room is I want to take a ruler, which I know you guys don't have rulers at your seat right this second, but I can tell that from the center of my square to the edge is two inches. So I would take my ruler and I would just make sure that I have at least two inches on each side to be able to flip. Same thing here. I know my mouthpiece that I'm going to flip downward is about one inch and I want to make sure I have one inch here. And then the same thing with my longest piece here, a little less than an inch. So I have enough room on top and bottom. You should have enough room as long as you have this centered. Then what you're going to do is take your pencil, you're going to take a pencil, and then you are going to trace your square. And why are we tracing our square? So we know where our square goes and where pieces are going to be placed. So then I have my perfect four by four square drawn in the middle. Now don't draw really dark. Be clean with your lines so that way they're not going to show so much when you start gluing your pieces down. So once you have that drawn, then I want you to set that piece up um, above and just have your square here. When you cut, make sure you're cutting on your mat and then make sure you do not have your white square with your design on top of your construction paper because what's going to happen when you cut? You're going to cut your construction paper. We want to keep that construction paper in a good, in a good shape. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start cutting out your pieces. I'm going to start with this little spiky piece here all right so I'm going to just start by cutting out those little pieces now pay close attention to your points you want to make sure that you get those points cut if they stay attached to the main piece of your paper then it's not going to work and you'll have to go back and recut so periodically I'm going to check and see if there's anywhere that I need to cut again. So I know this piece down here is still connected. So I want to just double check that everything is apart. Right? So I know I have nice good cuts on this part here because it's already free. Now the trick with this is to take your time. Cut slowly. Put enough pressure on your X-Acto knife to cut through it in one swipe. This is just thin computer paper here. So it should not be very hard for you to cut through in one slice. Try to stay on your lines. And if you look at this design, is there a lot of empty negative space on this square? Yes or no? Is there a lot of empty negative space here? No. Or did they fill up their areas? They filled it up. Okay, so they have a nice intricate design here. 
And they could have taken this a lot further with their design. They could have split up some of these pieces, like this little mouthpiece that we're cutting out. If this was my design, I would have put another design on the inside of the mouth and maybe made it like a tongue. Okay, so there's lots of things that you can do to break up those empty spaces. So work on getting this spiky piece cut out. And then you'll end up with a, with a separate piece. If you get this cut out really fast, why don't you go ahead and make some extra pieces. So like for this one, I'll just make like a tongue piece. I'm just making an extra line. If you are a little bit slower at cutting, don't worry about doing this extra stuff. So I just cut this into two pieces. Once you have that cut, I want you to set your square in the center and line your pieces back up and wait for further instructions. So I have this spiky piece cut out and then I just added a round piece for like a tongue. Now if you look at this design, is this design symmetrical or asymmetrical? Which one is it? Symmetrical. And what makes it symmetrical? It's the same on both sides. Now, they could have made like the eyes different. That would have been asymmetrical. But in this case, they made everything symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. Now, once you have that part cut out, everybody should have their glue. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that this square is centered. And then this spiky piece, you're going to take from the um, facing right side up, you're going to flip it down. And then it's going to line up with the edge of that square. Okay, so the drawing part that you see, like the dark lines should be on one side and you're flipping it to so you can see the white side. Then you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue that down. Now, it does not take a lot of glue, guys. My glue is kind of watery, so it may get a little messy because I'm using cheap glue. But I just want to line that up. And I'm using this square as a reference to where I need to line it up. Now, if your square is a little bit too low and your spikes hang off the paper, that's okay. It's just practice. Just glue it. Don't have to redraw your square. Just have it hang off. All right. If it was your design for your final project and it was hanging off, then I would say yes. Adjust your square. Okay. You just want to make sure that everything is going to fit on your paper. And then that little tongue piece I made extra, I'm going to glue right there. If you have extra glue that is, is kind of squishing out the side, just kind of clean it up. Now keep in mind, if your fingers are getting covered in glue and getting very sticky, you're going to start getting um, some gross smudge marks on your paper, especially since it's white. So keep your fingers clean. All right. So if we take that away, we have our first two pieces glued. Okay, but the most important part is decide where you're flipping these. A good rule of thumb would be if it's along this edge, it needs to flip down. If it's along the top edge, it needs to flip up. If it's along this right edge, flip it right, vice versa. Now, that doesn't mean that if you have something over here that you can't flip it over to this other side. You just have to make sure that it's in the correct spot.
according to your design. All right, so let's move that piece up and I want you to continue to cut and practice. But as you cut a piece out, glue as you go. Why do you think I don't want a bunch of little pieces floating around? Because you're going to lose them. Now, say you do cut a few pieces out and you lose a piece. What could you do? Yes, you could trace that cut out on a scrap piece of paper and then use it and cut that piece out and then you have a new piece. It's an easy fix. It's not the end of the world if you lose a piece. But what I don't want is you losing a piece and then you're like, oh, I don't care. I'll just turn it in without that on there. Okay, I don't want that. How are the glue levels? Am I going to need to refill glues today? No. Okay. I'll get those refilled for you guys tomorrow. I did not check them before we started. I do apologize. Now, when you glue, just make sure that you are putting glue on the correct spot. Or the correct side, I mean. Now, if you have pencil lines, so say you drew this design out and you had pencil lines showing, do you want to glue or erase those while your glue is still wet? No. no. You want to wait. Right. You want to wait until everything is dry. Now, when it comes to these pieces in the center for the nose, since our paper is not wide enough to flip these to the top or bottom, where would we flip those to? Sorry. To the sides. Now, before you do these, I would suggest doing all of these pieces first, flipping those, and then do these at the end. Why do you think that is? Why would you want to do all these pieces first before you tried those pieces? So you know you have enough room so that way you don't accidentally glue this too far in and then not have enough room to flip these pieces. So save these nose pieces for the very end. So, and this, remember to keep placing your square back where it goes before you glue so that way you're making sure that you're lining up your pieces with the correct spot. You want everything to be straight. Because once you glue, unless you pick it up off that paper immediately, you can't remove these and move them if, after you've already applied some glue. gluing now that I have all of these pieces on the bottom the way I want it I'm going to rotate my paper and I'm going to have it the other way so that way I know where I need to go all right then I'll just move that paper up and start cutting my left side
Is there anybody that's having difficulty with this process? The most difficult part you're going to have on this project is coming up with your own design. All right, that is going to be the hardest part is drawing your design and making sure that it's going to work. The most important part is to make sure that everything is a shape, right? That means it's a closed off area. You don't want just a bunch of lines. You want those lines to connect to make your shape. So when do you think we'll be ready to glue in our negative space that we're cutting everything out of? When will we glue in the very center of the square we drew? When we have everything cut out, everything is glued on all of the areas, then we'll line our square shell, is what I call it, back where everything lines up, and then we'll glue that down and we'll have our design. Now, what I will be looking at on your practice is that you're taking your time cutting everything out, that there's no tattered edges, and that you at least attempted to cut on the lines. Now, do you think I'm going to grade really harshly on these practice papers? I hope not. No. Okay. I am just looking that you are attempting. Is there anybody's exacto knife that's not cutting very well? That your blade's getting maybe dull? If it starts to get dull, let me know and I can swap it out. So there's what I have so far. I've got the bottom part and I've started my left side. 